Hello everyone. Today we are going to learn how to attempt a speaking test in IELTS exams. This speaking test is a one-on-one -on -one interaction between a teacher and a student. The student will be judged on fluency, grammar, pronunciation and vocabulary. So you need to learn, um, you need to have better vocabulary and you need to know proper sentence structures. This test will last for 10 to 15 minutes. There would be three stages. Stage one is where the instructor would make you feel comfortable and would ask you questions which are uh, related to day-to-day -to -day life. For example, your home, your work, your family, your hobbies. Task two would be um, based on a cue card. So you would be given a cue card where a topic would be written and things that you must include while talking about that topic. This would last for three to four minutes. The last task is basically a discussion question where the teacher and the student uh, engages into a discussion which will last for approximately five minutes. So this is a basic structure of a speaking test in IELTS exam. So let's talk about each part. The first part is the introduction and the interview part. The teacher will uh, check your ID and then will make sure that you are relaxed. So she will talk about your work, your hobbies, your family, something that is general and something that you can easily talk about. Second part is where she wants to wants you to speak more. So second part, which will be for three to four minutes, will, will have only you speaking. So there would be a cue card. There would be a topic written and now you have to include all the subtopics that are there and um, organize your thoughts and speak for three to four minutes. You can think what you are going to speak for one minute. So you can take one minute to organize your thoughts and to um, basically see what you are going to talk about. If you don't understand the question, please ask her what, do they, what, what the cue card means. The third part is a discussion part. So the teacher is basically seeing how well you respond to the question and how well you can take forward the discussion. This will last for about five minutes. The topic would be related to your part two. So if they are talking about um, uh, something related to work, so your discussion would be related to work as well. Now let's look at few strategies for this speaking task. The first is preparation. What to focus on? Until and unless your pronunciation is really poor, don't worry about that. So you can do a little uh, bit of exercise every day to correct your pronunciation. But what is more important is that you concentrate on vocabulary building and uh, using various sentence structures. So the examiner is basically looking how well um, you can communicate, how wide is your vocabulary and also um, the variation in sentence structures. So focus on what is really important while you're preparing. Second is don't be nervous. It's easier said than done, but as uh, you can practice, the more you practice, the better you would get. So if you are nervous, you won't be able to speak properly and then you would get low scores. So you can find speaking partners online with who you can uh, practice. Don't rely on the teacher. She is not going to give you prompts. So you cannot answer in yes or a no. The examiner is basically seeing how well do you speak. 
so you need to really speak and put your opinions forward next is that you need to extend your answers as i said the teacher is basically looking for a lot of input from the student if you don't answer well or you don't give her extended answers she will not be able to gauge how well of a speaker you are so extend your answers you have 4 minutes to cover that topic the teacher might ask you few follow up questions but the major chunk of task 2 speaking would come from the student itself the next is to stay on the topic now you are speaking for 3 to 4 minutes and you want to say a lot of things but it should not happen that you start speaking about for example your family and then you start talking about your work stay on the topic you get 1 minute to prepare so think of all the sub headings that you are going to talk about Next is that you need to understand the question properly. In the first go, if you don't understand the question, please ask the examiner. It is better to ask the examiner rather than answering to a question that we have misunderstood. There is no negative marking for asking questions to the instructor, but don't annoy them also by asking too many questions. Now one reason for you not understanding the question could be that you're not listening carefully. So please listen to the questions carefully. Then if you don't understand you can ask the instructor. But listening carefully is the most important thing. Next is don't show off. If you have a wide range of vocabulary and you know a lot of grammar I uh, don't try to squeeze in everything you know into those 3 to 4 uh, minutes of task 2 and 3 to 5 um, minutes of task 3 keep it very simple they it sh- there should be a variety but you should not complicate um the the speaking task so keep it very minimal simple with new vocabulary and correct use of grammar 